Hello, it is Tuesday. I have such a feeling I'd like to read for Taurus and Virgo. Taurus and Virgo. Hmm. We do have some requests for Taurus and Virgo, though. From Vigilant Queen, L47, Coolin with Port, Irish Oaky, Mr. Robert, Esquire, Jesse, Lolly, L. Roy, and Tisha H. Um, if I didn't mention your name, just put it in the comments for Taurus, Virgo. Taurus and Virgo, both beautiful earth signs. It's been a difficult February for many of you. Keep your head up. Keep your chin up. Count your blessings. Let's keep... Okay, Sally Forth, whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know who Sally is. My body is. Sally Forth. All oh, right. Now you, have, you know how we do this. I'll set up Taurus, past, present, future right here. And a Virgo, past, present, future here. If you connect more with one side than the other, please do flip those energies. Taurus, in the past, you were about three of pentacles in reverse. No one was helping you. It was you, you, and you making things happen. There's a little bit of trust issue here. Um, you can show me one time, you're telling me, you can show me one time that I can't trust you and then that's it. Like Maya Angelou says, believe them when they tell you about themselves. However, Virgo, you're about the nine of pentacles. Open, um, more, mm, okay, you know you look good. Virgo, you know you look good. There's a, a little bit of um, uh, flirtatious fun going on here in the present energy. Taurus, because you've had to be a strong, forgive me, B, um, there's no gender in tarot. There's someone who has had to overcompensate and bring out the strength within them. This is the Aries energy of the empire. Uh, you recognize that. For those, this is generalized reading. If it doesn't pertain to you, forgive me and let this be for someone else to hear it. In the present, Virgo, you are about making this investment. Had you already made this investment, we're going to clarify a little bit. In the future, Taurus, you're about communication. Let's let's talk. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it some more. In the future, Virgo, you're going to be about. Um, listen, I'm 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 free, but I've created my own jail. I'm free, but I'm looking at the things that I've made or missteps with, and um, I'm trying to get out of this Eeyore complex. At the bottom of the deck, we have seven of wands in reverse. Okay, um, this is the energy of I no longer feel like I need to defend myself or to provide answers or excuses. If you don't love me for what I have, what I am, um, kick rocks. Taurus. Virgo, clarification, please. Taurus, Virgo, clarification, please. Taurus, the, the energy I'm feeling in between you and Virgo is that of... Um, Virgo feels like a person on their own island. And Taurus, you feel like you um, want to connect and be part of that island, but you have a lot of things going on. It's not that you're putting Virgo second. It's just um, sometimes you feel a bit stressed from the um, the needs of Virgo to be on that island. One minute, please. Clarification. So this energy is that of communication. Call out, respond. The, as the church would say, mind, body, spirit. Okay, so Taurus, in the past, um, I'll put it quite plainly, it, it appears that people were in your business a bit. They had your name in their mouth, and you provided your own sunshine. It's as if you, um, what they said, attempted to hurt you, but you had to rise above it. You had to rise like the sun above it. You did create your own manifestations. It's amazing to me, Taurus, what you have overcome and that you've made positive 
let me say it again. You've you've made positivity your your hallmark. You are a survivor, and you do look to the times to celebrate. Again, you had uh, every possibility, Taurus, to be someone who is angry, bitter, but you chose positivity. You chose to be a helper agent and to utilize all of the negative things that have happened in your life to help other people. Taurus, thank you. Virgo, well, actually uh, part of the positivity that Taurus um, shown uh, stretched over to Virgo, who was feeling themselves. <laughs> uh, Virgo, you could have been quite direct with what your expectations were between you and Taurus. Um, it's interesting that you wanted to create this foundation, but you weren't able at this time to give fairly. You weren't able at this time to fairly give attention and affection to Taurus. Um, Taurus, though, is stronger, strong like bull, and is able to continue doing what they needed to do, um, even though uh, sometimes, Taurus, you have the tendency of overextending yourself and then getting into that exhaustive, um, you're, you're exhausted, and then you, you don't recognize how tired you are, and then that depletes. However, you have this great energy. You do have dreams that, um, we're going to go into this further, but um, if these dreams do continue, uh, you're going to be able to substantially help people who need your type of realistic advice. You do have, Taurus, this ability. I, I see Judge Judy. You just tell it like it is. Um, you don't pull punches, uh, but you do have that motherly or, you know what I mean? When you do give your advice, even though it's quite strict and strong, people know that it's coming from a loving heart. The emperor, very, very strong backbone. Um, you're also protective of what it is that you have created. So the emperor... Um, protects his empire. So you're not going to let anyone destroy or destruct what it is you have created. Judgment, second chances, Cancerian energy of the chariot, and six, um, good, 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 six of cup, six of um, swords going from the chaotic into the smooth water. Okay, this almost tells the story of the, the, the I should say, the backstory of everything that you've gone through. If Taurus, again, I say in the past, if you had really uh, allowed people to make you an angry, bitter person, you could have been buried with your anger. But no, you have, you've risen above it. You do have this great energy. See though, in this chariot, there aren't any reins. It's only by sheer willpower do the Sphinx move. And you see there's a dark Sphinx and a, and a lighter Sphinx. At what time, you could have been very um, negative, but you chose to um, to uh, focus on the light. You chose to, um, it's almost like a spiritual evolvement. And you, you have taken everything you've been through. And I don't know if you're writing a, like a help book to help people who have been through what you've helped, you know, you've been through to show them a way, but you've taken all of these experiences with you and you're going to be able to say, look it, I've done it. Um, it's possible to, to rise again, to rise out of the ashes. Oh, wow. Taurus, you've, you've got such a pure and, and uh, generous spirit. Virgo, you see all these things and you, um, you want to be a part of it. You're able to make that investment. But what's the investment? You want to take that leap of faith. Oh, wow. You want to take that leap of faith. There are things that you're still working on, but you understand that Taurus is the Hierophant. That's why those things that you are working on have, have a lot to do with your own perspective of life. You must come to Taurus correctly. Yeah. Part of these perspectives is expecting something negative to occur. Back to this Eeyore complex in the future. You know, everyone has... Um, aspects of their life, their personality that they work on constantly. It's a journey that really never ends. 
So uh, don't play, Virgo, don't play games with your mind about time. Time is a man-made construct. Um, this journey is about understanding the things we have been through, what imprint those things have left on us, and how we could assist other people. Um, Taurus, this uh, I, I don't know if what you're going to do, I think maybe you might go into communication somehow. Um, have you considered having a pod, a podcast? Okay, you um, you might be able to um, spread your your intelligence and your experiences far and wide by um, going on social media. Yeah, this love is is overflowing. I, I, I believe that you are going to do a lot and that you're going to have community recognition of success. Your hopes, wishes, and dreams from way back here, they're going to come true. Taurus, you've got a lot going on here and um, organize yourself. Keep, um, keep your positivity. It's a beautiful energy you have here. Now, dear Virgo, yet yeah, um, it's almost as if you revisit those things that have made you sad in the past. Now it's time for you to leave them. This is the future energy. You have the full. You're ready to to take that leap of faith, meaning you're going to leave behind some of those things that have made you feel less than, why and walk towards your ten of pentacles. Um, each person is going to bring five of pentacles and create that ten of pentacles. Again, uh, this this inner journey to understand yourself, it really never ends. It never ends. Um, even at, at the time of our transition into the next um, part of, of our existence, um, it never ends. We learn about ourselves all the time. I'm asked to take one more time. Yeah, it, it's a lot of the details. The, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Taurus Virgo, I'm so proud of you guys. And I'm looking forward to hearing about the great things you have. Um, please leave a comment. Let me know what your hopes and dreams are. If you are interested in a pod, creating a podcast or something on social media as a way to help other people um, who might be facing the same challenges that you did, um, the best thing that we can do in our life is to help other people. And to find out who we are, what makes us tick. Taurus Virgo, love you bunches like bananas. Take care. Bye-bye.